And right over here, Jimmy Vavino. He makes the bread fresh every day. And the Max Weinberg 7, Jimmy. Thank you. Sounded good? We have... Wow, the way... That was incredible. That was in... The way the enthusiasm for that song you just played built... Was it, for, <laughs> was it for the song? Was it for Is the that why they were applauding? I don't know. Maybe it's the way you no, sat no, no, no. down. Maybe. Who knows? It's, it's the way I sat yeah, down. I, I don't think know. So. It's just, there's a lot of love in the room. Who cares where it's coming from? That's the important thing. The, uh, that's a little too much love. <laughs> and I can kill you. Uh, you know, as I said over there in the uh, monologue area, the laugh zone, I call it, the, uh, the, rising, the rising cost of gas, that's what everyone's talking about these days. It's dominating the news. It just goes up and up and up. President Bush, here's the latest. President Bush just visited Saudi Arabia, and he asked them to increase their oil output, and they turned them down cold. They said no. And as I already mentioned, today oil hit $135 a barrel. Now, everyone in America is following this story, except one guy. There's one guy who doesn't care. I'm talking about one of our show's graphic designers, Pierre Bernard. There he is. <laughs> Yeah, here's Pierre. That's, yeah, that's his DMV photo right there. And Pierre just doesn't care. He just does, he's not interested in this topic, and everyone else is interested in it, so I thought we should talk to Pierre about his lack of interest in this important issue. Let's bring him out right now. Pierre Bernard, everybody. Let's... Hey, Pierre. Now, Pierre... Is it true you just, you don't really care about our country's dependence on Saudi oil? I couldn't care less, Conan. Okay, all right. But you, what you are interested in is uh, sci-fi television shows and Japanese anime films, is that right? Yes, it's my life. Okay, well then here's what I thought. Maybe I can make you more interested in the oil crisis uh, by talking about it in terms that you can understand, Pierre, in a little segment I'm gonna call Nerding It Up for Pierre. What do you think? <laughs> Now, Pierre, let's just say that President Bush was like uh, Admiral Adama on Battlestar Galactica, and uh, Saudi Arabian oil was like, I don't know, enriched Tilium, being guarded by pre-programmed Cylon centurions. You mean the Saudis can't even be reasoned with? <laughs> yeah, that was well done. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you see, some in the Middle East think we're like the villainous Gao Uld from Stargate SG-1, a race of ruthless snake-like parasites ruled by the evil system lord Adolphus. Okay, now I understand. Yeah. And you also understand... <laughs> this is better than rehearsal, trust me. You also understand that OPEC wants to be respected, like the anime hero Naruto, a hyperactive adolescent ninja, and a containment vessel from the nine-tailed demon fox? I sure do. Wow, I had no idea the Saudi oil production could be so incredibly fascinating. <laughs> so, Pierre, maybe you'll pay closer attention the next time when you fill up your gas tank. Actually, Conan, I won't be driving the car for a while. My license was stolen by an unscrupulous prostitute. <laughs> so long, everybody. Thank you, Pierre. Yeah. I swear he wasn't reading off cue cards. <laughs> All right, then. 